Selena. Hi, Selena. I love that. Let's talk about it. You ready? A new taco restaurant has hit the Steel City, and if you like beer and margaritas with your tacos, you're going to like this place. Yeah, Selena Pompiani checks out Taps and Taco on the North Shore near PNC Park in this latest edition of Selena Around Town. So Nick, what is the story behind Taps and Taco? That's the thing, there is no story. There is no story. We just like our beer, we like our tacos, we're gonna put them together. Like we well, we never been further south than Virginia, so we're not expected to have anything crazy of like, oh, this is authentic Mexican, it's just good food that we like to have with our friends. Taps and Taco is a fun, delicious, casual dining experience for lunch, dinner, pregame, or postgame. It's based off of all of my experiences in Florida with all the different cultures. Uh, all of my staff down there was pretty much Puerto Rican, Cuban, Mexican, and some Thai influence. All those definitely came up here into the menu. We have a corn salsa. Everything is made in-house with fresh seasonal ingredients. Taps and Taco is hopping every day, but there's nothing like the game day atmosphere. Game days are busy. We got we got everybody walking on the federal streets, so we have all the crowds coming in here, checking us out, seeing what's new on the North Shore. Some of their most popular tacos include the Mom's Taco, the Pop's Taco, which of course is named after Willie Stargell, and the Three Sisters, aka their Fish Taco, which is named after the Three Bridges. We also feature some burritos as well, so a few salads. Um, we have our dessert, as our churros. Everyone's going for the churros. Uh, but yeah, we have our, our taps, our taps and tacos, so we have plenty of beer selection, and then we have some awesome uh, margaritas, our uh, spring margarita. It's a very popular one right now in our Paloma. Another hot menu item can be found in the appetizer section, the Yinzer nachos, which I'll definitely be diving into later. House make green chili cheese sauce. Just like any other good Yinzer, uh, we put french fries in everything, so instead of the tortillas, we're giving you french fries. Waffle fry nachos? Now you're talking. Cinebulk tells me it's simple. He just wants people to enjoy their fresh food, great drinks, and have a good time with friends. If you think of tacos, you want like, I'm just gonna have a good, I want a good taco. So I think this is definitely the place people want to go for it. Mm. That is good. I got the mama's taco right here. Five other tacos, the downtown street corn, the yinzer nachos, the churros with the Mexican chocolate sauce. I got it all, plus my spring margarita. Just like Nick said earlier, there's nothing better than a good margarita, good tacos, and churros. Oh yeah, I better go guys, I got a lot of work to do. We'll send it back to the studio. <laughs> She's a determined woman. She may still be there <laughs> napping all of that food off. My gosh, that was, that a was a lot to so order. Good. It looked you know, the fried, the nacho uh, waffle yeah. fries. <gasps> what a great idea! Amazing. I have a feeling ta Taps and Taco is going to do very well in the North Shore this summer, especially I with all the right. beers they offer. It looks so much fun. They're open every day except for Mondays, but and here's the big but: if there is a home game on a Monday. They say they'll open up. Yeah, no home game today, by the way. The Pirates are actually back in town for a series with the Cubs beginning Tuesday of next week. But it sounds like this restaurant, whether the Pirates are playing or not, it's worth a trip to the North Shore. I can't wait to go yeah. check that out. Just for the margaritas alone. Why not? Why not? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Selena.